First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Men's Stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk on the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity in truth. Shalom. Right, the saddest video in this brother, um, men of, men of valor. Right on their page, you know, and your brother put up, um, you know, Jesus loving Jake Pastor, you know, fly, fly in church, you understand, and you hear the congregation getting like if this thing is a joke thing, right? You see, to tell that people are uh, spiritually retarded, this ain't no joke, right? So, you're reading out to the revel out to the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 7, and this ain't no joke, right? So, I'm gonna read that, you know. It is just edify the church of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai elect, right? All the skin teeth, the day the Lord is not no skin teeth, right? This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. It said, Behold, right? He comes with clouds. Right, which with them close his chariots, right? And every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce him. So the, the Roman soldier who pierced Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. Right? Two two thousand years back. They back here again to, today, right now, in this present time right now, for the judgment. This 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 is proof proof of our reincarnation. The guy said, and they also which pierce him. Right? He said, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, so let it be. So the word wail go back to kapto. Right? Which is which going, which going back to what? Stricken? Strike? Right? So let me go into that word. Right? So I look grinning day, grinning in church day, in the hall of day. They're going to be destroyed. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh going to destroy Christianity. Understand? Christianity is going to be destroyed. Right? <coughs> so like you. Right? You as well like don't repent to come out to Christianity. They're going to be destroyed. Strong's G 2875. Copto. Right? Copto. Yeah, so the word for, for the word for wail is kapto in the Greek. It said to lament, to be wail, to cut down, to wail, to mourn. You're not here to laughing. <laughs> he said, All the kindred of the earth shall shall wail because of him. So you're not gonna hear all the <laughs> in the background. No, you're not gonna hear that. All the cooning, you are to all the Israelites. Right? To, he said to cut. To strike, to smit. Right? When you go to this word strike, right? Uh, and none. It's a it's sudden attack. Typically a military one. And there's how the there's how Yahweh Shai coming back. There's how Yahweh Shai coming back. Who the who the world going to call Jesus? He coming back with his army to destroy this place. So to the return of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, ain't not gonna got no giggling. It is business. Things gotta be put back in order. You understand? So all the giggling, you understand, gonna come to an end. It's said to smite, to strike, and to smite. You understand? To cut down, to cut off. He said to beat one breast for grief. 
You understand? So hey, the daily Lord is the daily Lord is darkness and not light. So I look skin today. <laughs> yeah. That's not gonna happen to the daily Lord. Right? I'll I'll skin it with Jake. Right? You understand? Let me get this Isaiah. Isaiah 66 and 15. Yeah, because the Lord ain't coming back to play. Right? And this view Jake don't understand. The Lord ain't coming back to play. Isaiah 66 verse 15 said, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to rend his anger with fury and rebuke with the flame of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slayer of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, shall be many. So this, in the day, it's not going to be no skin teeth. You understand? It's not going to be a skin teeth thing. Right? So all the skin teeth thing not going to be the day of the Lord. Right? That the Lord came out to destroy this wicked demonic kingdom and kill two thirds of his own people. Right? Put them to death. Two thought of two thought of you so can Negroes, Latin and Native American Indians gonna be put to death. Luke chapter twelve verse forty nine he said, I am come to send fire on earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? Let me just read that he came with his chariot with fire. He said, But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how am I stranded till it be accomplished? Suppose he that I am come to give peace. Suppose he that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay, but rather division. You understand? So the Lord ain't coming back to play with you dumb niggas. The Lord coming back to destroy Christianity. Right? The Lord going to destroy Christianity. Christianity is right. It's promoting white supremacy. Right? That's Christianity promoting white supremacy. Right. This is um Amos chapter five verse eight. He said, "Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Woe unto you, right, that desire the day of the Lord, right." He said, "To what end is it for you? To what end is it for you?" He said, "The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light." You understand? That's how, that's how dread is it. So all the giggling, they giggling, they. The day the Lord, they're not going to try to giggle up yourself. Right? They're going to be mourning and being put to death. Right? You always like to think this is a game. Especially you soca, you, you, you soca, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Who call yourself Christian? You're acting this is a game. This is Joel chapter 2, verse, um, uh, verse, verse 11. Joel chapter 2 verse 11, he said, The Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that execute his word. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? So the day, the day the Lord is not no joke thing. You understand? The day the Lord ain't no joke. So we go back to Amos 5 and 18. He said, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, to what end is it for you? He said, The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. He said, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. So you might flee from the you might flee from the famine and get destroyed in the race war. You understand? Or you might flee the famine, flee the race war. And get caught up in the female camp. Get chipped or get your head chopped off. Or the most I love to take the chip and then you'll be destroying the turbine tur tur nuclear fire. You understand? Amos 5 and 19 he said, he said, As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or he or went into, into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So you can't get you can't escape the destruction that coming that the most high about to bring on his face of the earth. So I'll just skin him with you with you with, with you coons. You are not gonna be skinny at it in the day. Verse 20 it says, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? 
very dark and no bright in it. You understand? So this is the day the Lord. When the, when the, when the, when Yahweh shine, the holy angel crack the sky. The, the sky is full of chariots, right? And the, and Yahweh shine destroying his enemy, right? This is this is this is no joke. There's not no skin teeth, right? Um, there's not no skin teeth. Let me get two more clothes off. Uh, Revelation. I think it's nineteen and thirteen, right? It's not no plating. Yeah, this is um, um this is a uh, Revelation chapter nineteen uh, verse eleven. He said, "I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, which is the white horse, is a chariot." Right? He said, "And he that sat upon him was called faithful and truth." And in and in righteousness do he judge and make war and is the how shy who do you want to take out Jesus? He said his eyes were as the flame of fire, and and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself, and he had many crowns, right? Take all the kingdoms down, right? He said, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of the Mosai. And he, he said, and the army which were in heaven follow him upon the white horse, which is the chariot, clothed in fine linen, with white and clean. And out of their mouth go a sharp sword, them laser from the chariots. So you desire the day the Lord, the day the Lord is not, is not light, is darkness, is destruction, the destruction of the so-called white man kingdom. He said that that with it he should smit the nation and he that shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treaded the winepress of of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty power so this is the day the lord you understand the day the lord is not no plating so you people monkey yourself from the place all you, 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 you decide the day the Lord and, and the holy for skin teeth. No, the day the Lord is not skin teeth. I laugh or joking around. You people, you, you people gonna say, you people gonna fear you out by shame you out. You is, you so God, you so God, you so God, you so God, Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian who are Israelite, who now this, this, this uh, Christianity madness, they are gonna be destroyed. This is Luke chapter 19, verse 27. But those my enemies, two thirds of you, so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. You are you are your house enemies. You understand? Your maker. Right? You understand? And you are the hidden nation. Right? You are going to be put under you are going to be, you are going to be put under your house foot and under the Hebrew Israelite. Are you hidden nation? Right? This is Luke chapter 19, verse 27. But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring thither and slay them before me. So you design the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is not light, it's darkness, right? So this is a quick lesson that you find the church of Yahweh Bashem You know, woe to them that desire the day of Yahweh Bashem You know, and with that, I was edifying. I want to give up praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders who were our great stood, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four county, you are to push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom.